It's quarter-final day, and for one of these eight teams, they're just three victories away from being crowned world champions of 1958. We've got the defending champions, three former champions, a former finalist, two that have yet to get past the last eight, and one team making their debut at this stage. I'm Joanne Keyes in London for the clash between Wilsdon and Cheshire. The defending champions are posting a record team rating and booked their home tie with an 8-1 victory over Atlanta a fortnight ago, which is their fifth big win in their last eight games. The Saxons have no injury worries, and have competition top scorer Rosalie Williams leading their attack. The Cheshire Cats suffered a big blow this morning, when it was confirmed that Rosemary Vaughan lost her battle to be fit. Diana Armitage stays at Sweeper having made her debut in the tie in Lanarkshire a fortnight ago that earned the Cats this match. Cheshire are the underdogs, but they won the biggest meeting between these sides six years ago in the semi-final. Sabrina Kay and Jean Sloan were in that Cheshire side while Wilsdon's back three of Wallace Hanslip and Bidmead remains the same. Shani Wallace scored an own goal that day so will be hoping for better fortunes today. Over to Dorothy D in Plymouth. Thanks Joanne. Plymouth are the highest ranked team never to have won the title, but they've won their last seven on the spin and are at full strength. The Pilgrims have been here twice but ended on the losing side both times, most recently last year when they went down to a shock defeat in Mississippi. World Player of the Year Beryl Lug never returned from winning the title with Wilsdon last season and is bidding to be the first player to win back-to-back -back titles with different teams. Los Angeles are the one side making their last eight debut and do so with an entirely under-21 lineup. Regular goalie Marilyn Newmeyer hasn't recovered from the injury that saw her miss the Dreamers' last game so Judy Sorrell stays in, but there's good news that their star player Sheila Morrison returns in place of Denise McCord. The odds are against the Dreamers today, but the future looks bright for such a young team. And Kevin Kosofsky is in Glasgow. A warm welcome to Gridball Kevin. Many thanks Dot and thanks for having me. Glasgow are on the hunt to make history as no team has ever completed an unbeaten season. Barbara Ruby brought in Pat Sterland from Cheshire after an uninspiring season from Eileen Logan last year, but when Pat needed to take maternity, Logan was back up top and back in form. Meanwhile Vera Whiting has been a revelation in defense. But if any visiting team gets a result today, Monmouthshire are the most likely, June Reardon's side lost to Plymouth last time out to miss out on a home tie today, but the Beacons come here in good spirits that they can reach the semi-finals for the first time having lost to Houston in their only previous appearance two years ago. Florence Murray arrived from Belfast this season, and has given them an extra edge. And speaking of Belfast, my fellow Gridball debut reporter is a current player. Hello Kerry Kay of the Weavers at Liverpool. Thanks Kevin. And I hope my visit today is better than it was in August, cause we lost 2-0 here. Liverpool went on to win our group and did the same in round two and I can tell you from experience. When you're in that visiting dressing room and you read that opposition team sheet, it really is frightening. The live birds are at full strength. Hors Brekid Keo Sim and Lenore all have a champion's brooch with either Liverpool in 51 or Newcastle in 53, Jellicoe has a silver bat and Malloy won the Nations Cup with England last year. That's some CV. Rogers, Brent Carruthers and Strickland all played in Houston's losing final two years ago. They come here as their group runner-up after losing in Glasgow where they perhaps should have won. They'll have to be far more clinical today to avoid being punished by the Liver Birds but in Barbara Hoffman they've got a golden back contender with over 30 goals this season. We'll be around all the arenas as the goals go in. We're underway in the 1958 Gridball quarter final. From her lips, my true love, set my, my true love, a glow, my true love, and I know, my true love, from heaven, my true love, from hell, my true love, above, my true love, came my. Be 
true. My prayers, they were answered. And the Lord sent me you with love and devotion. Until And I thank my true love, the hell, my true love, the hell, my true love, the hell, my true love, for sending my true love. Love makes the 
world around Your pulse will beat And your heart will pound Cause love makes the world go round Yeah, 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 yeah A goose got loose at the county fair Yeah, 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 yeah They looked high and low but she wasn't there Up jump again to say and leave her alone Yeah, 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 yeah How oh, when she misses old dad, she'll come back home Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause love, love makes the world go round No matter what you do or where you go Yeah, 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 yeah You get kind of lonely when the lights are low Yeah, 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 yeah Everybody's gotta have a love that's true And I just gotta have you, you, you Yeah, 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 yeah Cause, Cause love makes the world Go round and around Love makes the world go round Your pulse will beat and your heart will pound Cause love makes the world go Love makes the world go Love makes the world go round What a day for Cheshire to come from a goal down against the supposedly invincible champions and win emphatically. Centre Jean Sloan and right guard Nancy Berlin are the heroines of the day as they didn't get ruffled by Rosalie Williams' early goal. Carol Watson's quick response threw the champs off kilter, and when Diana Armitage hit a quick fire double either side of the first quarter hooter, the Saxons were stunned. Berlin's deserved fourth capped a day where Shani Wallace's hate-hate relationship with quarterfinals spilled over again, a foolish sin bin summing up the end of the road for the champs. By heroines of the day are left guard Susan Booth and player of the year last season Beryl Lug Neville who completely bossed the Los Angeles Dreamers. Booth ensured the Americans never got anywhere near Avito Lees' goal while Lug Neville completely controlled the center court. For Plymouth it's a first trip to the semi-finals while Los Angeles team of teams may very well have big days to come in the future. My heroine of the day is Glasgow goalie Catherine Fraser, but in truth I could have picked either keeper as Jill Jenkins made some great saves for Monmouth's year too. No doubt in my mind I had the game of the day and the only shame was that one of these two had to lose. Mary Gilbert will have a few moments that might keep her awake tonight as the Welsh wonder what might have been, but for Glasgow they remain unbeaten and on course to make history. I really am gonna have to play in one of these next year, but for now I, and everyone else could only marvel at the Liverpool frontline of Sally Jellicoe and Joan Lenore, and I have to say I can really feel for Houston goalie Cherry Carnell because I was in her shoes earlier this season. Lenore smashed in all four goals today in what price she catches Hoffman and Williams and snatches that golden bat next month. 
and that was quarter-final day on the weekend the champions sensationally lost their crown. Three former champs are in the last four with debutantes Plymouth, who will face the Liver Birds in London while Cheshire and Glasgow bat off in Nottingham. Before then, it's Nations Cup final day next weekend. You can get all the build-up and info for both the Nations Cup and the semi-finals of the championship at gridball.org. Music today came from Malcolm Vaughan with More Than Ever, Jack Scott My True Love, Tommy Dorsey Orchestra starring Warren Covington T for Two Cha Cha, Harry Como Love Makes the World Go Round, Jody Sands Someday, and Playing Us Out is Marino Marini and his orchestra with Volare. All in the week when Donald Campbell set a new world water speed record, clocking over 248 miles per hour. Please like and subscribe to see what happens on semi-final day, and even tell us if you're from Cheshire, Glasgow, Liverpool, or Plymouth in the comments. E continuo a volare felice più in alto del sole ed ancora più su Mentre il mondo pian piano scompare negli occhi tuoi blu La tua voce è una musica dolce che suona per me Nel blu degli occhi tuoi blu.